In today's video, our discussion is on the reasons some books published through Amazon KDP get negative reviews on Amazon. And what you need to do to fix that, that is the solution, okay? Number one reason why some books get negative reviews on Amazon KDP or Amazon is due to the fact that the book was uh, poorly edited. Yeah, in terms of grammar, there are a lot of grammatical errors in that book. So sometimes some publishers rush and get their book published without doing proper editing of that book. I get it. So when customers end up buying such book, they leave negative review. Maybe they will say something like the grammar is poor or the book was poorly edited. Okay. In respect to this, what solution do you have to take to fix it? First is that you may try on publishing that book and then edit the original file and then republish again okay take your time to proofread what you want to publish so that it will look so original and authentic and professional as well before you push it out to the world to buy so if your book has received this kind of negative review before maybe one star or two stars whereby the customer keep complaining that it was poorly edited you need to re-edit okay proofread the original content and then upload it on amazon kdp again for them to publish it okay the second reason for negative reviews on amazon kdp is poor graphics yes if your book involves a lot of pictures photos please do well to make those photos have high resolution i get in it it will make it sound when it is being printed out by the printing machines all right if you don't know what to do maybe the resolution of the image is poor and you don't know how you can increase it or upscale it there is a program called upscale all right you can use it to upscale the image before you use it in your book i have the name on this video so you can visit that website when you get to that website install the program on your computer okay any of the images you want to use for the publication and you feel is of low standard, of low quality, then you upscale it. After the upscaling, then put it inside the book, the manuscript, all right, before you go on with the publication. So when you do this, the book is likely to have less chances of getting negative reviews, okay? Sometimes some customers will come and complain that the book is in black and white, the picture is in black and white. In a situation like that, it's not your fault. Because when you're publishing that book, you set it that you want this book to be in black and white to lower the cost of production. Yes. And some customers don't mind looking at this before they make purchase. So in that situation like that, you it's not your fault. So when a customer complains that he thought that the book is in colored, it is in black and white. You don't have any control over it, okay? So there are some solutions you have control over and there are some you don't have control over. When you are publishing it, you select that, you want black and white. Though Amazon show them in color when they view that on their screen, on Amazon website, all right? But your own is that you selected is black and white. So the case is Amazon's case, all right? Another reason why books get negative review is Amazon's fault. Yes, let's be honest. Sometimes the fault is from them. Take for example, you publish a book on a platform and they are the one that prints that book on demand. So when they print the book, they ship it down to the person and the customer comes to the review section and start complaining that this book is torn before it's being shipped to him or her. In a situation like that, it's not your fault. So all you need to do is just to report that review. Any review you feel is not right, it's not your fault. The, what the customer is saying is not right. Just get to the review section. You see a test named report. Report it. Okay. Amazon will take a look at the at the report, and if uh, they feel like okay, you are right, they will delete that review. But in most cases, it's hard to win. 
okay but in a situation whereby you don't have control they looked at it and they feel like this review still needs to be here don't forget it you move on all right then when your book gets some negative reviews another step you can take is this if you feel like you don't have the strength to um edit that book again or make some changes again on that book let me tell you what you need to do if that book is selling high all right is a a high on demand book you may need to do what publish another book like that yes another title like that under a different pen name all right so don't use the same name use a different pen name and then publish that title okay maybe you make a little changes in the description of that book but publish it so far that it has high chances to sell you will make your money again all right if it's a book maybe that is just um 100 pages or 120 pages you can write that book within one month if you are good in writing all right so publish it to tap from that money since it has high sales potential okay another reason your book gets negative review is because of your inability to explain the book contents properly to your customer to your potential customers i used to tell people this when you're publishing a book be self-explanatory just explain that book very well if you're writing a particular subheading explain it very well to the extent that a beginner we understand the message you're trying to pass. But some customers uh, would like to say are so dumb that sometimes even if you explain that, they will tell you they don't understand too. So in a situation like that, it's not your fault. But try and explain the content of your book properly so that you will reduce the chances of getting negative reviews on that book. It's not easy to write a book actually. So don't use because of small small mistake to murder book sales and once the book start getting negative review over and over and over without having positive reviews of four stars or five stars you may end up killing that book and it will not make money for you again so try to minimize that chances of negative reviews okay the truth is that amazon is number one e-commerce platform in the world in respect to this, there is competition on the platform. A platform that receives over that receives over two billion visitors monthly. That means every month, people that vis people visit Amazon over two billion times. That's what it means. So because of high competition, if you write a book on a particular title, another person writes a book on a particular title, and that title sells very well you have competitors they can pay someone to go and leave negative review on your book are you getting it so that's another problem but in a situation like that you don't have control over it actually but i don't see the reason why a competitor will try to hurt you to make money but some people are bad so in a situation like that you can't do anything just pray that another person comes and read that same book and leave a positive review once that positive review is left on your book it will reduce the chances of the previous negative review uh, review affecting that book sales yes i've seen a situation like that i published the book the first one got the first review was five stars second was four star then another person came and said that a book of over 150 pages that he or she couldn't pick anything from it that he trashed the book but because of that potential customers don't look at that nonsense they keep on buying this book one negative review against five positive reviews just last month the book made over 410 dollars on september 2024 okay so sometimes Negative review come from your potential, your, your, your competitors, but I don't see the reason why it should happen. Any person watching this video, if you do that to your competitors, that means you don't deserve to be on the platform. Okay, so keep on pushing, even though competitors 
leave a negative review. Another reason why some books on Amazon KDP P or your book get negative reviews is because some people can easily get satisfied. There are people, it's in their nature, that are always dissatisfied no matter what you do, no matter how simple you place the book, you can't satisfy them. Imagine somebody tell you that a book of over 300 or 400 pages that he or she couldn't grab something from the book. That's a big lie. Because if that be the case, Amazon would have pushed that book to be published in the first place. Okay, so when you just have it at the back of your mind that when you receive such negative review, you know that this is the kind of person that left this review. Because some people are difficult to satisfy, no matter how you place that book. Even if you give a book free, you see some people that will come and tell you that you did nothing. So it's normal. So when you get some negative reviews, know the steps you need to take. If there's something you can correct, correct it. But if it's something you cannot affect, something you cannot correct that is beyond your control, let it be. Okay? So, these are my points. So, do all you have to do to reduce the chances of negative review. If anyone has got a negative review before, just try as much as possible to correct that and move on with your production. Publish more quality books and make more money in return. That's my take on this. I believe you find this content helpful. Please, if it does help, consider subscribing. Here we discuss a lot of things on technology, which comes across self-publishing, how to use computers, iPhones, Android, and so many other things, okay? So if you like contents like this, you need to subscribe to this channel to learn more, okay? Hit the like button, the one that points up like this, so that YouTube will know that this content is a helpful one and recommend it to more people. Leave a comment. Let me hear you say, why do you think some people leave negative review? On books i want to hear your take or have you had a experience whereby your book has gotten a lot of negative reviews and it keeps selling irrespective of that let me hear your experience in the comment section so learn more on how to make more money on amazon kdp you need to watch this video thank you and see you some other time